Welcome to Capricorn. Uh, today we would like to demonstrate about document signer certificate, what the certificate is all about. You might be knowing that if you want to automate something, you need a ready-made solution. And if you need a ready-made solution, so this document signer will gonna help you out. Basically, this will ease your automation. Now, when we say easier automation, it means it perform bulk signing operations in just a few seconds. Unlike this, an organizational based DAC, this document signer certificate is only issued to organizations. It won't be issued to an individual. So please remember that this document signer certificate or a corporate signer certificate is only issued or only has to be used in the capacity of an organization. These certificates are basically comes into two variants. The very first variant is a class two document signer certificate and the second variant is a class three document signer certificate. Now, when we talk about class two, it means that a class two certificate or we generally say a server level certificate is a PFX file that you can keep on a server and automation of documents happens through that document signer. This PFX based DSC is mostly used by organizations who do not want to invest a huge money in HSM. Secondly, they have a secured space and they want to keep this certificate into their secured space so that tomorrow if they want to change something, especially they want to reconfigure the server, they can do so with, with an easy cakewalk. HSM signer or we call it a class 3 document signer is a certificate which is imported into an HSM. So when we say HSM, it stands for Hardware Security Module. This basically comes again in different different variants. So Hardware Security Module is a physical box or you can say it's a very big token in which you can make partitions through a slotting and you can keep the PFX keys in that particular certificate. As it already informed that class 2 and class 3 are two different different variants and again it comes into sub variants. Class 2 comes with signing part and signing with encryption. Class 3 comes with the signing part. And these certificates usually comes with a validity of one year or two years or three years. Yes, one year, two years and three years. Now the most important part of this video is where these document signers are being used because as a company you should know that if you are taking a document signer certificate, why do you need that certificate and where to use the certificate. Nowadays each and every organization has a GST number. So I'm sure you guys would be knowing that if you have a GST number, you need to upload all the invoices ha which has to be digitally signed. And if there are huge chunks of invoices, manual intervention or signing through a dongle is not a feasible solution. You need a solution wherein you keep your invoices at one place, invoke an event and automation happens. This is purely the quality of a document signer certificate, sir. Secondly, the most common practical use of this certificates are an SAP. You know, the companies uh, which has huge production, which has huge uh, resources, they do their task through SAP system or any ERP system. So these document signers are used in SAPs, ERPs, you know, all the accounting softwares, key invoicing, bulk signing everywhere. You guys would be knowing that e-invoicing 
is the mandate which the GST guys has done. Whosoever organization has a turnover of 500 crores, they need to e invoice and upload on the GST portal. So if you need a solution, these document signers will play a very, very vital role. Coming down to the banking part, public and private sector banks, yes, usually they incorporate these document signers in order to ease their work. Because banks have huge and huge chunks of invoices or huge and huge chunks of documents which needs to be digitally signed with a fraction of seconds. Now, if you have a document signer certificate and if you have a front end software, this task can be done at a very nominal place, at a very nominal place. All the financial institutions, telecom companies, e-commerce platform, they take tests. Nowadays, organizations are also taking the services from UIDAI in order to authenticate the users via Aadhaar. So they usually become a uh,